to the H5 Domino community channel. Woo! You made it! This is the place where we talk about dominoes super in depth. So if you like dominoes, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification. This is an awesome series that I do called Domino Deep Dive where I react to your domino videos and give you some tips and tricks on how you could possibly improve them and you know, we can all learn collectively and get better at building. This video is called Spiral Madness by Room 4 Domino. Let's give it a watch. Room for uh, Domino. There we go. Oh, I like how the two dots represent the four. Nice job. Domino screen. Okay, let's see. Oh, we got the fainter's technique. I love this technique. It looks so cool and it's a slow trick, which is really nice. Oh, no. One of them didn't work. In out spiral with sideways dominoes. Oh, yes. This is an awesome trick. Oh no! That one little domino on the corner. Great colors. I like how you can really see the in and out point where it goes in and out, changes to a different color. Oh, in and out domino wall. That's a really cool color pattern. Like, I wanna pause this video real quick. This color pattern might look random, but it's actually not. Like if you can see the red wall right here makes a pyramid and then you have an upside down yellow pyramid and then a normal orange pyramid and then an upside down green pyramid. It's like triangles stacked on top of each other and that makes an awesome design. That's very, very creative. So well done with that. I love that. All right, you got the wall going in, wall going out. Good, I good idea to use the um, diagonal method. Nice. <laughs> I've seen this trick before. Whoa. Something, something happened there. We're gonna replay that later. Oh, we got the dominoes on top. Go, go down, go. No! Oh. That's okay. That wall, the pattern, the rainbow wall looks really good but it did knock out some of the dominoes early, which we will we'll go back to. We're gonna analyze this whole thing. All right, we got the square spiral using that 90 degree turn technique, going all the way in, then out. Oh, oh that still worked, even though the domino was out of place, and it pushed up a domino right here. Oh no, that last one. We're also gonna go back to this. Oh, that's such a cool pattern. Oh, I love that. That spiral, that was so cool. It like fans out. It's like a field starter, but wow. I, I just had to watch that again. That was so beautiful. Great job. Room for Dama. That was an awesome video. Loving all the colors. Let's go through these tricks. So we got the fainter's technique right here. Oh, I think it was just too far away from the domino. This one had to be a little bit closer to the red one. It was just a little bit of a spacing thing. One trick that you can do when you're making a lot of small tricks in a row is measuring out exactly how far apart each module should be. So like, see this red one, for example. You could use a domino width to measure the distance between each fainter. So if you imagine this width, which I believe is 24 millimeters, you can place that domino right here and then measure that to here and then put another domino right here as a measurement. And that way, you know, each individual module is exactly 24 millimeters apart. And obviously you can use something else if it needs to be longer or shorter, but just having a little guide is very helpful and it'll make it more consistent. So everything is built the same. And as a result, it should work every time if you're building it all in the same way. I'm trying to figure out why this trick failed on the corners as well. Like this trick always works for me for some reason. Oh, okay, I think I know why. So when you're building this trick, I'll do a little example right here. So we got, this is the base. This is the domino that goes on top of it. The best, wah, it fell. The best place to knock down this trick oh my god stop falling is more towards the end of this domino rather than right here it needs force for this lever to go down and push this one out if it hits it more towards here there's more support under here you need to hit it more towards the back of it so it looks like this red domino right here when it falls it's going to hit the next one like right about here instead of whoop instead of right here. So I would probably move this module out a little bit more to the left 
and a little bit more forward so it can hit it here. That should fix the problem. Maybe do some more tests, especially on the corners because that's where it failed. Awesome trick, great colors here. I like how you can really see the angled domino that's falling in the red and dark green. It helps it to see actual motion of the dominoes more. Okay, this in, out, fall back. <laughs> when I built this trick in my greatest domino effect of all time video, it also failed. So just know you're not alone in this. The curves in this domino setup especially are a bit too sharp, especially if you have lines that are so close to each other. Like this line is really, really close to this line. When this domino falls, it's going to spread out. It's gonna hit some other ones by accident. The wider the turn that you put on top of these, or just generally, the less chance you have of the domino sliding out and hitting things next to it early. See this wider curve, all the dominoes stayed up. If I were to rebuild this trick, I would honestly make the inner curve, the side size of this curve. So there's a lot of space in between each line in the spiral. This trick is definitely hard. Maybe I'll rebuild it sometime in the future. That was kind of an odd transition though, because you can clearly see that the domino failed here, but this line kept going. I don't know if I would include that just because it didn't really work. I'm glad you tried it. Now you know what to do if you want to rebuild it in the future. Okay, this rainbow spiral thing, awesome design. I like how you use the clear dominoes on top, so it's just like floating dominoes. One thing to note, if you didn't want those dominoes to fall off the edge, space those dominoes on top a little bit closer together. One safety hazard thing is when a structure falls, it's going to spread out a lot on the floor and it could potentially hit dominoes by accident, which is what happened over here. So you really need to make sure that any dominoes that are near a structure are moved far enough away from it or get a barrier that could just be like a wooden block or something, put it in between the structure and the domino line and that'll prevent the dominoes in the structure from hitting that line by accident. Okay, so we see a domino line that goes straight into the speed wall. I would imagine something like that would work. Let's see what happened again. Ah, speed walls, they always need to be triggered in the direction that they're falling. So for example, the domino line is going in this way, but the speed wall itself follows the other direction. I feel like you would almost need to have like a small to large domino that knocks down this inner speed wall domino. I'm surprised that the dominoes falling didn't actually knock down the rest of it. That's like actually quite shocking. What you could maybe do is build this a little bit taller so there's like five vertical dominoes stacked so there's more weight to knock down the speed wall. That's another option. Okay and then this one. This is really funny. It knocked out this one domino perfectly and it just lays flat on the ground and even though there's a space here it still works. Nice. I would recommend spacing out the lines a little bit further. The distance from this line to this line, pretty good spacing. You're not gonna run into any interference issues. And I would even measure out the distance between each row. Take some dominoes, use that as a measuring tool. Like, okay, I'm making a square spiral. Every single line is going to be two domino lengths. Part. So you'd put these two dominoes in between here, in between here, in between here, in between here, 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 here. You get what I'm saying? So that way it'll be a perfect square. And also I noticed it failed right here. So sad. Oh. One thing you can do as a safety thing is put a domino on top of that flat domino that makes that 90 degree turn. And that'll make sure that when the domino underneath falls, this domino has weight and it'll push it down and kind of force it to go in the right direction. Typically that should work every time. I think I I use this in my all around Audrey domino trick tutorial so you can see how that works. But yeah, overall, great job room for domino. This was a really great video. Just a couple of things like spacing and measuring things out if you're doing something really precise. Another like random thing. If you have a tripod or you're able to put the camera on something so it's not a moving camera, that might look a little bit nicer for a screen link. Great video. Loved all the designs. Great colors. Domino community. If there's anything else that you would suggest to Room for Domino, leave it in the comments. You can watch the original video with the link in the description and send in your own videos for the next Domino Deep Dive. Give me a video that maybe something didn't work or you did a really unique trick or something just like overall went super wrong. Like, that's an interesting video. So send me those. Hopefully I'll get to them. There's a long list, by the way, so just keep that in mind. Anyways, I'm Lily slash Heavish5, and I will see you in the next video.